Eddie Mogo. It's Twilight with Aliens! You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of I Am Number 4. You can't stop what's coming. Dad! Where is she? You have no idea how many have made sacrifices so you could live. If they kill you, we are all gonna die. The success of the Twilight franchise has been so great that it doesn't just have Hollywood all hot and bothered, but the publishing world as well. Controversial author James Frey, who was exposed for making up large parts of his memoir, A Million Little Pieces, was so taken with Stephanie Meyer's success story that he formed Full Fathom 5, a publishing company where he partners with writing students and recent graduates to churn out high-concept young adult novels. And the very first book was I Am Number 4. A bidding war immediately broke out before the book was even published, with DreamWorks winning the rights. Michael Bay was attached to produce and possibly direct, but with Transformers 3 calling, Bay handed the directorial reins over to DJ Caruso, who'd done excellent work for DreamWorks in the past with Disturbia and Eagle Eye. As for Caruso's go-to leading man, Shia LaBeouf might be charming, but he's no Robert Pattinson or Taylor Lautner. So DreamWorks cast British child actor turned model turned adult actor Alex Pettifer in the lead. However, while Twilight audiences must decide if they're on Team Edward or Team Jacob, in this movie there's just Team Alex, and Alex Pettifer knows this. According to The Hollywood Reporter, once Pettifer found out other actors in the film were being paid more than him, he refused to show up on set until DreamWorks intervened. It's also rumored he's demanding $10 million for future roles before I Am Number 4 is even released. On top of all that, it was recently revealed that James Frey's Full Fathom 5 is less of a factory and more of a sweatshop, as one of the young writers dished to New York Magazine about Frey's bullying tactics and unfair contracts. But we all knew greed was evil. Question is, if it stays behind the scenes of a solid movie, will audiences care? Let's go find out. Should Twilight be worried? Most definitely. They should be. They got some good actors in here. Uh, not really. Well, it's yeah. nothing like Twilight. Oh, it's not? No? Yeah, I don't really think it's like Twilight. How is it different? It, it, there's no vampires. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't based off of the romance. It was, it actually had a plot, I thought. At one time I thought I'd say, oh no, not another love, you know, thing right? like that, but it was all good. Well, I have to say, ton of guys seeing this movie. Yeah. All right? You wouldn't catch them dead in a Twilight film. <laughs> what do you think is getting them to come see this one? The actions. It was decent, but it just took a long time to get to the real spicy parts. I like the lengthwise. Um, I didn't want it to be rushed. Um, and I also like the fact that I, you couldn't quite predict what was going to happen next. When time. I saw the previews, it seemed kind of interesting. Uh, I like special effect movies, and I thought the guy was kind of handsome. What? Well, how were the special effects? Um, the ones I had were really were pretty good. Was just, the guy handsome? He looked handsome as a brunette and, and a blonde, and <laughs> the other guy was kind of cute, too. The guy was pretty good. Hot, um, down to earth. Passionate, sensitive, loner. He has what it takes. He's really cool. Yeah, he looks yeah. really cool. He looks like a nice guy. I thought he was a good actor. Uh -huh. um, I could see him in like a lot of movies like this coming up. He's good. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely. I will watch anything he's in. So. Oh, really? He's okay. I mean, he's not as bad as the reviews made him out to be. They made him out to be kind of that hating Christian. Type oh, of that's thing. horrible. Yeah, nobody wants that. <laughs> what did you think of the rest of the cast? Oh, well, we like Glee, so we like Diana Agron. Was she good? Yeah. I liked the girl from Glee. The young lady who was, uh, I guess, part of the same place that he's from. I thought oh, she was pretty six? badass. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Teresa Palmer deserves her own movie. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, it was number six? She was good? Yeah. It's really good. It wasn't like, to me, I don't, I don't feel like it was hyped up enough. But like people should definitely go see it because it was like really interesting. I would say definitely see it. Yeah. It didn't blow me away as I thought it would from the previews. Oh, okay. It was still good though. I recommend everybody go see it. At least I didn't sleep to this movie. I stayed awake for the whole thing. That was excellent. I mean, I'd see a second one, but. Oh, you would. But if they don't make it, I wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna be on pins and needles. No. What do you give it on a one to ten? Like a nine. My brother gave it a nine. I would give it like an eight or a nine. Okay, it's so 8.5? Yeah. All right, I'll, give what you, it, I'll give it a 9.5. 8.5? Definitely 8. 7.6.5? I give it a 6. I'd probably a 7.5. A 10. 8.5, maybe 9. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, I think like 9. Or like, even like 10. Like, I don't... 
Like, I liked it. <laughs> that's great. No, that's like, wonderful. Like Sounds like DreamWorks has improved on the Twilight formula and gotten a hotter guy to boot, as audiences give I Am Number 4 an 8. And don't forget that I Am Number 4 is the focus of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your 1 to 10 rating below, as well as your One Sentence Review. Whoever writes the best one gets a free pair of movie tickets, and I'll announce the winner this Sunday on Facebook. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.